Hello, I'm M.A. Bennett, but you can call me Marina. I'm going to read you an extract from my book, Stags. Here it is. I'm actually going to read you the first chapter. Chapter one. I think I might be a murderer. Although, as I didn't mean to kill, I suppose it was manslaughter. So technically, I would be a manslaughterer. Although I don't think that's a word. When I got my scholarship to Stags, my old headmistress told me, you'll be the cleverest student in that school, Graham MacDonald. I might be, I might not, but I'm clever enough to know that manslaughterer is not a word. I should make it clear here, before you lose all sympathy for me, that I didn't kill with my own hands. There are a few of us. I helped to cause a death, but not alone. I'm a murderer, in the way that fox hunters are murderers. They are each responsible for the fox's death, even though they hunt in a pack. No one ever knows which dog tore the fox apart, but all the dogs and all those riders in their smart red coats are part of it. I just gave myself away. Did you spot it? Those coats, the coats that posh people wear out fox hunting, they're pink, not red, hunting pink. And the dogs are not dogs, they are hounds. Every time I open my mouth, I give myself away. Graham MacDonald, the girl who doesn't fit in. It's my northern accent, you see. I was born and raised in Manchester and went to Bewley Park Comprehensive School until this summer. In both those places, I fitted in just fine. When I won my scholarship to Stags, I stopped fitting in. I ought to tell you a bit about Stags because I now realise how connected the school is to the murder. Stags stands for St Aidan the Great School and it is literally the oldest school in England. Not a single building in my comprehensive school, Bewley Park, was built before 1980. The earliest bit of Stags, the chapel, was built back in 683 and it's covered in frescoes. Frescoes! Bewley Park was covered in graffiti. Stag was founded in the 7th century by the man himself, St Aidan the Great, I mean. Before the church decided he was great, he was just a plain old monk and wandered around northern England telling anyone who would listen about Christianity. Then, presumably so he could stop wandering, he founded a school where he told all his pupils about Christianity instead. You might assume that I'd been made a saint for that telling people about Christianity, but apparently that's not how it works. In order to become a saint, you have to perform a miracle. Aidan's miracle was that he saved a stag from the hunt by turning him invisible. So the stag became Aidan's emblem and the school's too. When I got my letter calling me for interview, the stag's antlers were the first thing I noticed right at the top of the letter like two jagged little black tears in the paper. The first time I saw St Aidan in the Great School was when I went for my interview. It was one of those sunny midwinter days, all glittering frosty fields and long low shadows. Dad drove me through the gates and up this long driveway through lush green grounds in his 10 year old Mini Cooper. At the end of the drive, we got out and just stared and stared. We'd seen some pretty amazing scenery on the long trip from Manchester to Northumberland, but this was the best of all. It was a beautiful, vast, medieval manor house with a sort of moat and a little bridge to the entrance. It didn't look at all like the headquarters of a disturbing cult, which is what it actually is. Whatever you're reading, whether it's my book or somebody else's, really enjoy it. Uh, books are a great way to go to another time and place and escape the rather grim reality we're living through and they'll while away the time until things get better, which they will very soon. And I'll see you then.